Hello and welcome back to First in Preparedness. Today we are not discussing handguns, but you did click on the video so you might as well stick around. Now we are going to be discussing handguns in the next few episodes, so just be patient. We're getting there. Now I'm going to magically make these disappear. So let's get into the topic that we're going to discuss today. That would be the mindset of preparedness. It's a beautiful day here in West Texas, it's a little bit cold out. Yesterday was like 80 degrees, so go figure. Psychotic West Texas weather. Today we are going to be discussing the mindset of preparedness and what does it take to start this journey. Preparedness for me in particular is what I define as having the ability to live completely off grid for one year. That is my ultimate end goal. As I stated in our intro video, I actually achieved my fifth goal, which is owning some land. That, in turn, allows me to reach my end goal of having one year sustainment completely off grid. When I started my own preparedness journey, I set some goals that were attainable. My very first goal was I needed to have enough sustainment for one month. After that, I then moved on to three months. That was my second goal. My third goal was to basically establish a bug out strategy and acquire that equipment. Next was to make sure that my first two goals were defended. So I started amassing the defensive tools to do so and also picked up some odds and ends along the way. So I would strongly suggest establishing three goals to start. Make these goals achievable and realistic. Do not overspend, you have time. Now, let's delve into the mindset of bugging in or bugging out. This becomes a very specialized topic in relation to where you live. Under most circumstances, bugging in should be your first option. If you look at it from a shelter perspective, that is the simple, easiest way to prevent yourself from dying from exposure. So, if this option is available, stick with it. However, it does come with a big caveat. Depending on your location, as it applies to the type of community environment you live in, whether that be rural, suburban, or urban, your strategy will kind of have to cater to that. Let's look at the social landscape over the last three years. In 2020, we had several social uprisings that heavily affected urban areas. If you reside in an urban area, the possibility of you having to bug out increases drastically. Just imagine being stuck in the middle of Chaz, the wonderful utopia that it was planned out to be. Also, if you live in an urban area, supply chain issues need to be a consideration. Major metropolitan areas are going to be hit very hard if supply chain issues erupt. So in summary, the odds are higher that if you reside in an urban area, your need to bug out may increase. My suggestion is, if you live in an urban area, become very good friends with someone in a rural area that is willing to take you in. Next, let's take a gander at suburban areas. These areas are somewhat insulated from social movements. That's a polite word for rioting morons. However, they are not totally immune. Let's take these two for example. These people thought that they were safe in their gated community. That was not the case, however. Despite these rare instances, you are for the most part shielded from these types of riffraff. Next, we have the rural environment. This is, of course, the most ideal case if shit were to go sideways. Most of this group is going to be self-sufficient and geographically isolated from any sort of human catastrophe. Now, since I live on the edge of this type of community, my best option is to bug in, pending there is not some sort of natural disaster that's about to befall my geographic location. In terms of strategy, you have to have all available options well thought out and a specific plan in place in case shit goes sideways. Thank you for joining us here today on First in Preparedness and this very short video. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. Like and subscribe button. And as always, hit the bell to be notified when we upload new content.